subsidies in respect of loans, this fringe benefit is pretty much a situation where the employer pays a loan on behalf of you. Now, guys, by far the most important is this first one, and this is the most common, which you can find in paragraph 2G, and that is if the employee, so I owe the bank 500,000 rands for my house, and my employer pays that 500,000 rands. Whatever the amount is of the subsidy that you receive, that is the amount that will be taxed. But there is a, over the last couple of years, there's a special section that was added in paragraph 2G, capital A. And this section, to be honest, is not very clear. There's not a lot, there's no examples available really out there of how it looks and how it works. But I'll explain to you. Basically what happens here, as I say, if the employer pays an amount to a lender. So this is now where Mr. X works for ABC Limited. Mr. X owes the bank 100,000 rands. ABC Limited pays six percent interest, six percent of the so well, six percent of the interest to the bank. Mr. X pays. 5% interest to the bank. Okay, so what I'm trying to show you here is that that loan has interest on it. So now, Mr. ABC pays 6% and Mr. X pays 5%. So together they pay 11%. Now, what this subsidy say, or this rule says, it says, what is the official interest rate? So if the official interest rate is, let's say, 10%, then they say, if you look at the total that is paid by the employer and the employee, that's 11%, and you compare that to the official interest rate, if this total over here exceeds the official interest rate as it does here, then this amount paid by the employer, that 6%, is a subsidy. And if it's a subsidy, what happens when it's a subsidy? You just add it. It's then basically the same as that first one. If it's a subsidy, you just add it to your income. So if that employer has now paid during the year 100,000 times 6% times 365 over 365, so 6,000 rands, then that 6,000 rands will be treated as a subsidy. So it's not treated as a low interest loan. But now what's interesting here, and why I said to you guys it's a bit of a mess, is the act does tell you what happens if the employer and the employee together pay 11%, like they have here, but the official interest rate is more than that. So the official interest rate, let's say, is 15%. So they're paying less. The Act doesn't tell us what to do then. So basically then, there is no tax implication. So guys, this is a very specific situation. Um, very new. There's no a lot of examples. The Act is seems to be missing to tell us what to do when this section does not apply. So I don't necessarily think that this is the most important of sections for you, that specific one. Okay, there we go. And there is no situation where the subsidy has a null value. So this, if your employer pays your loan, you'll always get taxed on it.